November is Lung Cancer Awareness Month, and there is some exciting medical news for those patients with advanced cancer. A new blood test from Gardent Health, the first FDA comprehensive liquid biopsy, offers hope to lung cancer patients and their oncologists. Dr. Luis E. Rice with the Memorial Cancer Institute and his patient Lynn Spadaccini are joining us with more. Welcome to you both. We've been talking about lung cancer all month long. So Dr. Rice, let's start with you. Tell us about some of the recent developments in treating patients with advanced lung cancer. How has the prognosis for these patients really evolved during the past decade? Uh, thanks for having me. Uh, uh, we are very excited today to talk about precision medicine, and now we have discovered specific genes that cause lung cancer, and uh, now we have treatments. Uh, there is nine uh, genes that, are, that have treatments that are FDA approval, and we can identify these genes if we do in each patient what we call a genetic analysis of the tumor, a molecular analysis of the tumor. Now, that's exciting, and that's for sure. Lynn, this question's for you. When did you learn that your lung cancer had progressed to stage four, and what gave you hope? I learned back in April that my lung cancer had progressed to stage four, and what gave me hope um, is that I knew there were lots of treatments. I made it a point to educate myself, and I knew that there were lots of opportunity for personalized medicine and treatments, so it gave me hope that I might have a mutation and that one of these targeted therapies might work for me. Dr. Rice, tell us about the challenges in determining whether a patient is appropriate for what the personalized treatments and really how a liquid biopsy can make it easier to test lung cancer patients. For the last five or six years, we are doing this genetic analysis of the tumor, this molecular analysis of the tumor in the tissue. But the tissue has some limitations. For example, the patient has to wait four to five weeks for the results before we can tell the patient what treatment is going to get. And sometimes the tissue is not enough because the pathologists need the tissue to call long breast colon. There is not enough tissue for molecular analysis. Since uh, we got now, we have now the liquid biopsies, we can get these results in less than two weeks, sometimes eight business days. And uh, thanks to that, the patient can now have the treatment, a specific treatment for the specific type of tumor. It's, a, it's an oral treatment, it's non-chemo, it's less toxic, and provides a better quality of life for the patient. Going back to you, Lynn, how are you doing today? I'm doing really well. I have no limitations. I can do whatever I want to do. I feel good. Um, just my normal life that I've always lived. We love hearing that. And and how, though, has Dr. Raiz helped you identify the appropriate treatment? Well, um, when I first met with him, he asked um, that I do a blood biopsy with the Garden 360. And when he did that blood biopsy, we found that I had a mutation that could be targeted with therapy. Dr. Ais, how has the use of blood tests for detecting the makeup of certain lung cancers shifted the outlook for people just like Lynn? Oh, it has a tremendous uh, change because uh, until five, six years ago, everybody only used to get palliative chemotherapy. Uh, that provide a short survival and, and the quality of life was difficult with chemotherapy side effects. Thanks to these treatments, patients can live longer. Maybe we're curing some of them and uh, the quality of life is great and uh, the toxicity profile is minimal. Lynn, last question for you. What advice do you have for others who are faced with similar diagnoses? Um, I would say start by finding a doctor that understands lung cancer, a good oncologist, um, push for the genetic testing for your cancer so that you can decide, you can find out whether you have some sort of a targeted mutation. Um, I think educating yourself is always important. And then finally, I would, I would say have hope because there's lots of personalized treatments out there and there may be one that works for you. Lynn, we appreciate you taking the time to share your personal story, and you're so right. We all need hope. Dr. Raiz, where can our Great Day Live viewers go for more information? For example, for the liquid biopsy, they can go to the website of Garden Health, and uh, there are other websites uh, for liquid biopsies. The most important thing is uh, empower the patient to ask the doctor to request a genetic profile uh, every time that they have a new diagnosis. Okay. Thank you both for taking the time. Really appreciate you.